Hey, what's up guys? It's Elliot and I decided to make this quick video to go over the power clean that I performed in one of my videos earlier this week. I'm getting a lot of questions. People wanting to know how to power clean. So I'm going to do this quick tutorial and kind of break down my form during this exercise for you. Now as you'll notice, I freeze framed one of my videos here and I am in the catch position of the, the power clean. And we're basically going to reverse engineer the movement. And what I mean by that is we're going to start with the end position. When I teach people how to power clean, the very first thing I want them to be able to do is master the front squat, right? Because if you can't front squat, then you can't catch the power, the power clean, the barbell after the power clean. And that's going to destroy your capacity to do anything. So the very first thing is to build your flexibility in your wrists, in your ankles, in your knees by doing front squats. And if you notice, my wrists or even a bit tight because I don't have my full hand on the barbell. But if you've watched my front squat tutorial video from a few weeks ago, you'll see that having the hands hold the bar is not very important at all. In fact, the bar is actually being held on my body, if you, if you notice where my mouse is here. So my hands are kind of just there to guide it. This is one picture from a, from a heavier weight that I was using. Here's another one. I'm not as deep into the front squat, but you'll also notice again that the bar, the bar is sitting on my body. My elbows are up high, and I'm in sort of a half front squat. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is get very comfortable with your front squat. If you cannot front squat, you will not be able to master the power, the power clean. And um, I use that word master lightly because I don't even consider myself a master uh, even close to being a master in this movement because it is, it's highly complex. It's an actual Olympic event in itself. So you can imagine that there are people that spend their entire lives and multiple hours a day trying to master this technique, this movement. So, um, but what I'm going to show you is how to be able to do it to the capacity that I can, and I'm pretty good at it. So that's the very first thing that I want you to, to recognize. Um, once that's done, then we can start talking about the other piece of your power clean. Essentially, we're breaking it, we're chunking this exercise down. We're breaking it into pieces. One piece is the front squat, and another piece is the deadlift. And again, I've done extensive tutorial videos on how to deadlift, so you can search my channel, or if I get the time, I'll link it up here for you to watch. But what I'm doing from the start of the position, because I, I, I power clean from the floor most of the time because I like to use heavier weights and uh, I can become fatigued easier if I have to do it from mid-thigh. So I always go from the floor and I also find that I get more power from the floor. So I'm going to run this for you. I'm going to watch how I deadlift and that's the very first part of the movement, um, the second chunk. So again, if you can't perform the chunks, don't worry about uh, integrating them because the pieces are, are going to be screwed up. You want to get the pieces right first. So uh, the second piece is your deadlift. So check this out. I've got it in slow motion for you here. And I am deadlifting, boom, just like I normally deadlift. So I'm going to run that for you again. I'm going to go really slowly. It's a deadlift. It's a deadlift. It's a deadlift. Now. Right when I get to above my knees, you're going to notice me doing something a little different with my ankles, hips, and shoulders. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So watch my feet, watch my hips, and watch my shoulders. Boom. Okay, so not only am I extending at the knees, but I'm forcefully popping the hips forward, coming up on my toes, and shrugging the bar, right? So from this position, you're actually, uh, you're jumping. You're, you're literally going from a, uh, a deadlift into a jump shrug, right? And I'll show you that in a moment because that's the second, or I'm sorry, the third chunk that you want to master. And you'll see uh, in a later video that I actually practiced the jump shrug because that's really where all the power is being expressed in the power clean. We call it a power clean because you have to manifest tons of power to move that weight in a quick, in a, in a rapid fashion. And the jump shrug is where that's happening. So from here, what's going to happen is I'm going to have the bar travel up my body. I'm going, to, I'm going to draw my elbows up. And I don't even do a very good job at drawing the elbows up very high. But you want to draw the elbows up and almost pull the bar up underneath your chin. 
and then rotate the elbows into the catch. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. Boom. So I don't even bring it up very high. I, I could do a much better job at this, but a really good power clean would have the bar slide up my body and come almost to where my chin is. And then I would start rotating, but I'm already beginning the rotation of my elbows forward uh, a bit early. So like I said, I'm not a master at this, but I, I'm, I'm able to do it with this form. Boom. And then what you see here is the finished position, which is a front squat. So I'm going to replay this one more time. I'm going to do it with another video as well. Deadlift position, just like a normal deadlift. I've got the elbows locked. What I do to lock my elbows really tight is I rotate them in. So, uh, so you notice that my arms are very, very, very straight. My elbows are locked, and I've got a solid grip on that bar. I'm pushing through the ground like a deadlift. There's the deadlift. There's the ankle, knee, hip extension, shrug, rotate forward. I'm going to let it play, and it's going to go one more time. Like I said, if you can master the chunks first, the chunks being the front squat, the deadlift, and the jump shrug, and there's also a, a, a high shrug. Uh, I, I don't remember what it's called, but in the Olympic lifting circles, there's a name for it. It's like a high pull. Boom, I pull it high, rotate under, and I'm just catching it in a front squat position. Got it? So I'm going to kind of reverse engineer the same one here. You notice that I'm in a much deeper squat. The weight is heavier, so I can't pull it as high. So what I've got to do to, to catch this weight is get under the bar a lot more. And um, I'm kind of just practicing the front squat with this one. Um, the weight isn't that heavy for me, so I don't have to get too far underneath it. But I'm practicing getting low just so my flexibility is good. So I'm coming out of it. Cool, cool. Now we're going to watch me do it again from the floor. Okay, I know it's running kind of slow, but I think it's good because it gives you a time, uh, an opportunity to slow down. I'm really driving the knees forward on this one now. This is not technically sound if you want to be an Olympic weightlifter or even a, a powerlifter. But this is the way I do it. It forces me to drive my knees forward and get a lot of quads involved. So you'll see me do this often with my deadlifts. And because the first chunk is a deadlift, I'm driving the knees forward by bouncing, coming up out of the deadlift. Triple, I'm pausing it for a moment because you see that I'm generating the power. Watch my ankles, knees, and hips. They call that triple extension. And then I'm also shrugging the bar up, rotating underneath, and catching in a front squat position. Coming up out of it. And that's it. The front, the, the, uh, the power clean is an integrated, a highly integrated exercise. You're working multiple patterns. You're pulling, you're deadlifting, you're squatting. You're, you've got to be able to do multiple different things to put them together in order to front squat properly. So, uh, I'm sorry, to power clean properly. Let's see if I could pull up my jump shrug video here. And I don't even know if that's what they're really called. I don't know if they're actually called jump shrugs, but this is what I call them. I actually competed in, in uh, Olympic lifting once uh, right out of college, and I took a certification on it. Good. So you see what I'm doing here? Boom. I'm really working on that triple extension. So ah, there you go. I mean, that's a great picture right there. Triple extension. Ankles, knees, hips, shrug. Now, the high pull would be where I add one more component to this by pulling the bar up under my chin and driving my elbows up into the sky that would uh, be done prior to rotating the elbows forward like when I catch in the front squat position. So I'll let this run one more time. Right? And here I am just goofing around with some weird chin-ups. So let me run this for you one more time so you can kind of see what I mean. 
with the jump shrug portion of the movement. Boom. Sorry about that. Where are we here? Good. So you notice the jump shrug exercise that I was doing at 315. I'm really actually doing it here. Generating the force and then catching the barbell. So I think that's it. The, the biggest tips that I want you to go home with here is to master your front squat first to reverse engineer the movement. Get really good at the flexibility in the catch position of the power clean. Master your deadlift. Get very good at your deadlift because as you notice, it's a big part of the movement. And uh, and then the, the other two chunks or that jump shrug and then the high pull. I don't have a high pull video here for you. You might be able to Google it, but essentially it's that jump shrug except you're pulling it way up to your chin. I may actually may actually have a video on here with high pulls. Uh, no, I don't. But hopefully this is helpful for you. I'll try my best if you have any questions or concerns to hook you up with, uh, with some insight as to how to really beat the crap out of this movement because it is by all means, one of the best power generating movements ever. Talk to you next time, guys.